All right, friends, welcome back. It's been a week since I filmed the last section of video. Um, I was basically dying for a week. I haven't been this sick in quite a while. I, uh, I uh, got the flu or something, or I don't know. But I had a fever for multiple days. I missed a few days of work. <laughs> kind of crazy. I had COVID like three times and it didn't hit me the way that this, that whatever the heck is going around hit me. But anyway, who cares about that? All right, so what we're doing today, this cool stainless steel bolt kit for the uh, carburetor. If you'll notice, all the screws and the carbs on these, they just, well, they're rusty. And then the Phillips heads, they just really get jammed in from the heat of the motor and stuff. And you can barely get them off. They strip. So that will all be gone. And we'll have Allen heads, which will be a lot better. Brought some steel wool so we can polish out some of the uh, very light pitting in these guys. Um, so we'll do that too, and I'll uh, take you guys along. Let's uh, keep going here right now. I'm just laying it out. They have a nice picture for you and everything. So it's not in the order of the picture, but just laying out what goes where. And we'll figure out. This kit was like 20 bucks. Honestly, for me to source all these screws on my own would have been kind of a pain. I, I looked. I mean, I could have bought shooting like master but it would have been more and I would have had a bunch of extras of course so you're still you know you're, you're paying for the service right you're paying for uh, the uh, the convenience which is, is worth it honestly idle screw ah the idle screw I already put in already put that in there and then this guy is for here accelerator pump what are these for float ball oh yeah duh and these guys have as they're saying the top cover we're doing flat washers and lock washers I don't know if those flat washers will actually fit anyway I won't uh, bore you guys here I'll get all these installed and we'll see how it goes all right friends look at how much better that looks those nice stainless bolts versus the old rusty allen heads so let's get these all installed and then I'll show them to you all right, guys, we got them all installed. Stainless, stainless. All the stainless up there. Looks great. Uh, accelerator pump. And then I left these in the bag because we got to leave the bowl of the carb off because I need to put the new jets in it when I get them. And then obviously uh, we'll have to tune everything, but that's it'll be off on and off, I'm sure. Now, the other thing is, ooh, baby, I probably shouldn't have done that. Put a dab of red Loctite in this guy because one of them fell out one time. But I am going to need to adjust that most likely, so I should probably try to break it free. Maybe not my smartest decision, but uh, blue blue Loctite might be the way to go on that guy. Okay, so I got the uh, wheels all polished out. <clears throat> Still recovering here, guys. But you can see that nice little mirror shine. Um, they come out pretty good. You definitely could use like a sanding and refinishing, but... I don't really care to be honest with you because I ride this bike, you know, daily in the summer and everything. So I don't, it's not a show bike. They look good enough. And, I, and I've always liked these wheels on these bikes. Um, you can do a lot with them. You can get them chrome plated. You could powder coat them or do like uh, just powder where the casting, the raw casting is. I might do something like that someday, but for now they look good enough. They don't bother me too much. So now I got to do the rear wheel. Hey, buddy. I do the rear wheel. This one always gets uglier because of the just, I don't know, I actually know why. Maybe more grime hits it. But we'll do the rear wheel. Um, the pulley always comes out nice too. This this surface here and then that one. Hopefully I can uh, get it in neutral without the clutch. I, don't, I can't pull the clutch in because I don't have the primary on. Maybe I actually, yeah, I'm not going to be strong enough to flex that disc. So it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get it in neutral with the shifter and we can just kind of bump the rear tire and I'm sure we'll get it there. I just covered the bike to keep crap off of it. I detail all the paint and you can even see like there's just a little dust and debris. So yeah, so that's where we're at. Keep, keep on going. All right, so we've got some, got my finger, everything's all dirty. Got some big news here. I've got clearance to move the FXR off the lift, which should have happened weeks ago, but it's all good. Um, I actually was misunderstanding my part. Capturing a momentous event here. We're uh, bringing the FXR off the old lift. 
so I can figure out how to operate the damn thing. I don't know if I know how this works. That's up. I have to like, there we go. Oh, it must be on the stops. Duh. This bike was put out back in about 2012. Holy crap, that goes fast. <laughs> I didn't expect that for some reason. Jeez. Coming down like a freaking uh, tornado. <laughs> anyway, um, this bike was put up here back in 2011, 2012-ish, 2011-ish, 2012-ish, somewhere around there. I was going loose. Anyway, no big deal. Um, so now we're going to remove it from its home here and put my bike up here the bars are very loose on their rubber mounts wraps down perfect okay in good shape wow no resistance on the brakes All right, well, that's all she wrote on that. Now I gotta clean this lift up a little bit and get my bike on it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my ratchet straps as well. Okay. I always took, I took the handle off because I didn't have a lot of room. Really should have uh, put this on the lift to begin with. But, you know, I was in a hurry to get the heads off. Stuff dragging on the friggin' ground. Whatever. Let's just do it. Come on, baby. Oh, Jesus. Freaking trying to be gentle, but you gotta give her some muscle here. 
There, let's try that out for size. Oh, yeah, what the hell's leaking? Now we'll wipe it up. Primary's leaking all the way. Model motion in the ocean. Well, the problem with these types of lifts, you can't clean the wheels, so I'm kind of glad I had it on the ground so I got the wheels all cleaned up. straps on. Just a little something extra to hold it forward. So now we're in much more ergonomic working conditions. Uh, we should be able to drop the motor on nice and easy. We can stand up. We're not going to be crawling around. So this is much, much better. Um, I might even pull this ramp off just so we're not going to nail our knees on it. But yeah, cool. Making good progress. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. God bless America, and I'll see you in the next one.